Hello beautiful lovelies and welcome back to Fabulex. This is another episode, my plum tutorial. We're getting started with some eye primer and my above and beyond NYX concealer. Y'all know this combo is my favorite to get some pigmentation up in this eyelid. And then to set from crease to brow bone, I'm using my Ofra Highlighting Banana Setting Powder. And then I'm taking my Morphe 560 brush and applying this dark chestnut shade from my Morphe 35P Plum Palette. And I'm going to build up that color and put it all over the eyelid all the way up to the crease area. Now I want to warm up that brown even more, so I'm taking a bright orange from the 35B Bright Palette from Morphe and applying that all over the lid as well. Now to start this beautiful plum look off, we are starting with the Carly by Bell BH Cosmetics Palette and using a Morphe kind of a fluffy eyeshadow brush and applying that all over the eyelid. And once we build up that color, we give a soft blend with the Morphe 560 brush. Alright, so this next plum shade has a little bit more purple undertones and I'm going to apply that with the same brush all over the eyelid in the exact same spots, same exact way, motion, all that jazz. Moving on, I'm using the number 9 Emacs Design brush. This is like a pencil brush and using an even darker purple, applying that in the exact same spot, more focused on the eyelid than anything else and in the crease area, I'm giving a blend out in the crease area as well with a couple of the other two purples from the palette. Now this is my first time using Kiss Gel Liner and I loved it. It was very, very smooth for a gel liner and very pigmented. I liked working with the Morphe kind of like, I guess, artist brush, I guess is what I like to call it, or eyeliner brush. It's nice and thin and small and precise. So what I did first is winged out the liner and then I went ahead and put the liner on the eyelid in the exact same spot where I put my normal eyeliner and kind of put it all messy. It didn't have to be perfect because I'm smudging it out now with my E36 brush from Morphe. I'm just blending it upwards. I wanted my liner to blend right into the eyeshadow so it went from one thing to another so it was just kind of had a cool faded effect. Now these lashes are just my favorite lashes. These are from Kiss and these are flawless lashes and you can see they are flawless y'all. Fabulous! Now this is just an Urban Decay eyeshadow brush and I'm using the shade Ice from the Full Spectrum palette. I'm applying that in the inner corner because it has got a nice little reflect of glitter and shimmer. It's also gray. And then from the Carly Bay Bell palette, I'm grabbing the lightest shade out of there for the highlight and then a little bit of the lightest highlight in there as well for a little reflection. I gave it a soft to gentle buffing blend and then off camera I went ahead and did the rest of my face, baked, gave a little chill out session. You know the being dork alert. Now to create the cat eye, I'm dragging the eyeliner from the inner part of the eye and bringing the line towards my nose area and then bringing the line upwards just beneath that line and then cleaning it up with concealer. I'm sorry that those shots are awful. If you want me to do a tutorial on an actual cat eye, I can do a dedicated tutorial to that. Moving on to the bottom lash line, I am taking my Morphe 515 brush and my Voluminous Liner Noir. And I'm going to apply the liner in the waterline first and then I'm going to smudge out the liner with the Morphe 515 brush with a little bit of black and then a little bit of mix of the darkest two plum colors from the Morphe 35P palette. As you can see, I'm using the E36 brush for this to give it a little bit more buff around and blending. Carbon black, er, and then off camera I applied the telescopic carbon black mascara. Now this beautiful lipstick is from Over Cosmetics in the shade Napa Valley, a beautiful purple shade, very metallic, it's very pigmented, very creamy for a metallic lipstick. It lasted forever, it lasted through eating, um, I think I might try another one, honestly. I like it a lot. My lips were nice and moisturized and exfoliated, so it went on nice and smooth. Just that pigment just kills me. It's a beautiful shade. I guess you could say it's almost like a lavender. I got it in my Boxy Charm full-size products for 20 bucks, for 20 bucks a month. Awesome deal, and this is just selling me on that deal even more. Ooh, yes. Cleaned up the sides with the NYX concealer and a flat definer brush. I love that this concealer and this lipstick went together nicely and cleaned up effortlessly. To finish up the rest of the face, I took the same highlight for the brow bone for the rest of my face because it just makes me so happy to just make me look like a glazed donut all day long. I applied this with the Morphe 504 brush. Down the center of the nose, Cupid's bow, all the highest points of the face to give a highlight glow to the gods as you know I like to do. Quick spritz of the Pure Brist Setting Spray all over the face. 
And there you have it, I'm the fairy sugar plum that's in your dreams, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this quick little plum purple tutorial. If you did, give subscribe, thumbs up, share, all that love and support is appreciated on my side. Always give it back to y'all. And feel free to join the Glam Fam as well. Love new faces, stay beautiful inside and out, and stay tuned for more from Fabulex Makeup. Much love, y'all.